Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking, be always near. Dark descends, but light unending shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing, May we see in love's possessing love's endless light. Eyes will close, but you, unsleeping, watch by our side. Death may come in love's safekeeping, still we abide. God of love, all evil quelling, sin forgiving, fear dispelling, stay with us, our hearts indwelling, this eventide. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. Hear this, all you peoples. Give heed all who dwell in the world, both men low and high, rich and poor alike. My lips will speak words of wisdom. My heart is full of insight. I will turn my mind to a parable. With the harp I will solve my problem. Why should I fear in evil days the malice of the foes who surround me? men who trust in their wealth and boast of the vastness of their riches? For no man can buy his own ransom or pay a price to God for his life. The ransom of his soul is beyond him. He cannot buy life without end, nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that wise men and fool, fools m must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are, are their homes forever their dwelling place from age to age, though their name spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You cannot serve both God and Mammon. Store up for yourselves treasure in heaven, says the Lord. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave. Their death shall be their shepherd, and the just shall become their rulers. But the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies. His glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success. Yet he will go to join his fathers who will never see the light any more. In his riches he lacks wisdom. He is like the beast that are destroyed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Make our mouths speak your wisdom, Lord Jesus, and help us to remember that you became man and redeemed us from death, that we might merit the beauty of your light. Store up for yourselves treasure in heaven, says the Lord. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and praise and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. 
Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Adoration and glory belong by right to the Lamb who was slain. A reading from Romans chapter 3. All men have sinned and are deprived of the glory of God. All men are now undeservedly justified by the gift of God through the redemption wrought in Christ at Jesus. Through his blood, God made him the means of expiation for all who believe. He did so to manifest his own justice. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Fulfillment and endless peace in your presence when I see your face, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. I shall know the fullness of joy when I see your face, O Lord. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation, he has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do great things for us, O Lord, for you are mighty, and holy is your name. Let us praise Christ, the shepherd and guardian of our souls, who loves and protects his people. Placing our hope in him, we cry out, Protect your people, Lord. Eternal Shepherd, protect our bishop and all the shepherds of your church. Protect your people, Lord. Look kindly on those who suffer persecution. Hasten to free them from all adversity. Protect your people, Lord. Have mercy on the needy, Lord. Provide food for the hungry. Protect your people, Lord. Enlighten all legislators to enact laws in the spirit of wisdom and justice. Protect your people, Lord. Come to the aid of our departed brothers and sisters whom you have redeemed with your blood. Make them worthy to enter your wedding feast. Protect your people, Lord. Let us again offer our praise to God and pray in the words of Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, yours is the morning and yours is the evening. Let the Son of Justice, Jesus Christ, shine forever in our hearts and draw us to that light where you live in radiant glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. 
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.